series that dates back to a 1993 meeting here in Happy Valley. Michigan leads it 16 to 10. And the Wolverines have won two straight. Nittany Lions, Wolverines, here we go. This one sent into the back of the end zone for a touchback, and that brings on J.J. McCarthy. First down and 10 of the 25. Blake Corum, the pistol back. They give it to him on first down across the line of scrimmage, maybe a half yard. Ellie's with the tackle. Here's McCarthy, Corum right next to him. J.J. McCarthy. Fires underneath, he's got his receiver. Looks like a first down for the Wolverines. A.J. Barner, the Indiana transfer. They'll use two tight ends quite often, almost every play with Loveland on the field, number 18, as well as Barner. First down and 10 at the 37. Core on the single setback. They'll give it to Blake the Great over the left side. He'll pull his way across the 40 and gain four yards. Penn State, great job last week against Maryland on defense. Forced four turnovers, six sacks, and they held the Terps to minus 49 yards rushing. Second and six at the 41 and a fly. Well, a false start there from Michigan. Brings up second down and 11 at the 36 yard line for J.J. McCarthy, the Heisman Trophy candidate. Here's Corum, dragged down from behind, not much on second and 11. He'll get two, maybe three yards on the play. Play clock down to five. And they get it off, here's McCarthy. Dancing, rolling, McCarthy in trouble, and McCarthy goes down. Dennis Sutton tracked him down. And Michigan will punt the ball. That's a loss of 10 yards. They wanted to rely on the athleticism of their group to get to the quarterback and not allow J.J. McCarthy the opportunity to run around and create on third down. That's exactly what happens. Denied Dennis Sutton, great rush, gets home to McCarthy, and they'll punt it away. Daquan Hardy, who returned two punts for touchdowns against UMass this year is the deep man, the young man from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. First down and 10 of the 26 is where the Nittany Lions will start. And on first down, they hand it off. Nick Singleton, and he's bottled up and taken down. Nicely done, Kenneth Grant. Aller will throw it with pressure and incomplete. That one thrown wide intended for Dante Cephas. Let's take a look at the Michigan defense, they call these kids the Cardi Boys. Second down and nine at the 27, empty backfield for Aller. Aller looking over the middle and incomplete. Michigan forces a three and out. Came over from Vanderbilt and replaced Mike McDonald, who left to join John Harbaugh, Jim's brother, with the Baltimore Ravens. This ball fair caught at the 30-yard line. A 43-yard punt. Garner in motion. Corum. Straight ahead, Matt in the backfield, lost it. Who's got the football? And Michigan retains it. Abdul Carter with a monstrous hit. Right, watch Abdul Carter comes in and just bam, right on that football. It's loose, Corum tries to go after it. Keegan jumped in there and Michigan fortunate that they were able to get that ball back. J.J. McCarthy, quick fire. And he has his receiver at the 35 up to the 37. That's the tight end, Colston Loveland. Penn State showing blitz. Here's McCarthy, steps up in the pocket, in trouble, and knocked down. Under pressure again, Abdul Carter got a hand on him. Chop Robinson missed the last two games because of a concussion. He suffered against Ohio State as the Wolverines send it away. Flag on the play coming up. And this ball will be downed at the 32. It was fourth down and three. Let's see. It doesn't matter which version they go with here. This is going to give Michigan a first down. They'll confer here and make sure he wasn't blocked into the punter. There is no foul for running into the kicker. The player is blocked. Fourth down, first down. And that's the conversation that they had. Possessions, three punts, 17 total yards of offense for both teams. 
Singleton running left, and he'll be tackled for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Kenneth Grant gobbled him up. No gain. Aller with time, steps into his throw over the middle, and it's caught by his tight end, Tyler Warren, for first down. That's a gain of 19 yards. Drew Aller, as you told me, Joel, he's great at driving the football. That's right, he's got a big arm, and when he can let it loose and drive the football in the frame, that's when he's at his best. They'll run it with Singleton, who jitterbugs his way into Michigan territory, gains five, Derek Moore defensively for the Wolverines. They'll hand it off, Singleton looking for some room, he's got it, a first down for the Nittany Lions. Barrett with the tackle. Aller to throw it, sideline, incomplete. That ball intended for Lambert Smith, flag on the play. Will Johnson in coverage for Michigan. He's working against the best corner for Michigan. It looked like Will Johnson That's arrived too soon. Defense, number two, at the spot of the ball, automatic. First down and 10 at the 30. And he'll give it to the second back, Singleton. He'll dash his way forward. Stopped by Colson. Heavy dose of Nick Singleton. Allen, pump fake, in trouble. Allen steps up, wants to run it. Has a first down and more as he slides down at the 11-yard line. Once he eluded the initial rusher right here, Cam Good, there was nobody left. All the eyes were on the wide receivers. The defensive back sinking back, and that's a good decision to run the football. First down and 10 at the 13. Aller, 6'5", 240. Singleton again. Nick Singleton turning those legs, and he's close to another first down. He may have it, depending on the spot. Grant with the tackle. Aller handing it off. Singleton looking for the first down, gets a push. I don't think so. Junior Colson denies him no gain. Under center, T formation. Straight ahead, looking for the first down. And let's see, Aller at the bottom of that pile. That one's gonna be very tough. Junior Colson is in there, you see that left hand? It looks like he's got enough by the nose of the football. And he does. First down, Penn State. Watch number three, folks, Dante Cephas. He caught a couple of touchdowns down here last week against Maryland. They'll hand it off. Allen running left, and Allen dragged down from behind. Short game, if any, on the play. Michael Barrett gets to him. So watch if they get back into this T formation. If Michigan lines up tight again like this, there's the shift. Here's the shift. Second down and goal at the three. 11th play of the drive. It started at the 31. Play fake. Aller looking. Aller back of the end zone. Incomplete. No flags on the play. Johnson in motion. Here's Aller. Quick fade in the corner. Incomplete. Looked like he caught it. Will Johnson covering Cephas. And that brings up fourth down. They tried this last week and they were able to complete it, but you could see Cephas was trying to go after that with one hand and get that foot down. Really good, tight coverage from Will Johnson. Clean snap, good hole, and it's good. Penn State strikes first. Michigan accused of in-person advanced scouting, taping their opponent's signs and signals. Capped off by the 21-yard field goal. So J.J. McCarthy starts at his own 25. Donovan Edwards in the game at a running back. McCarthy sprints out of the pocket, throws on the move, and it's caught. Looks like a first down. This time, Tyler Morris with the reception. Michigan at their own 38-yard line. Here's the handoff. Edwards looking for room, and he gets crunched. Great defense. Tyler Elsden. They'll give it to him straight ahead, and he's ambushed in the backfield by Adisa Isaac. 
the red shirt senior from Brooklyn, New York. And right now, they will line up both of those tight ends over there. The bunch set on that right side, trying to slow down this rush up here from the Nittany Lions. Third down and 10 at the 38. McCarthy rolling out of the pocket, wants to run it. McCarthy, first down. And McCarthy hit as he goes out of bounds. A really good job there from Sharon Moore because they were struggling in that pass protection. And they changed it up and ran for it there. That takes us to the end of the first. First down and 10 now for Michigan at the 49. Edwards with room. Edwards with a burst. Edwards and the down. Down at the Penn State 26, a gain at 22. Donovan Edwards against Purdue, eight carries, 21 yards. He's rushed for 232 on the season. First down at the 27. And they'll give it to Corum this time with running room over the left side. They have seven players that will be in the National Football League. Second and six at the 23. McCarthy, quick strike. This time he finds Morgan. And Morgan bottled up the drop for a big loss. This time it's Dennis Sutton getting to him first. Donovan Edwards comes back in the game and running back. And they'll throw it out to Morgan and Morgan with a first down and more. Samaj Morgan ran a touchdown last week. Edwards remains in the game and running back. And they'll give it to Edwards. Crosses the line of scrimmage. Lunges forward. A flag on the play. That was a lot of substitution going on. Illegal substitution. Defense 12 on the field. Half the distance to the goal from the previous spot remains first down. Penn State trying to run extra players on, but didn't get anybody off, and there's the 12. Jerome Moore, acting head coach with Harbaugh out. They give it to Corum. Touchdown, Michigan. Blake Corum with a three-yard run. Watch this left side of the offensive line. They mash everything down, and Corum just gets in there right behind the fullback and the pulling right guard, Zach Zinter. And this guy has a nose for the end zone, one of the best in the country. Corum has scored a rushing touchdown in every game this season, 17 in 10 games. And in 20 of the last 21, extra point for James Turner is good not just for who they might face in Indianapolis, Gus, but also because of that potential three-team tiebreaker, which would go to the West teams. Penn State starting at their own 25. First down, Aller with the handoff to Allen. Catron Allen with running room. And the Fat Man, that's what they call him. That's his nickname, Catron Allen, picking up nine yards. Will Johnson with the tack. Second down and short, they need a yard. Aller, quick fire, out wide, caught. And that's Malik Mega with the catch. No gain as Rod Moore shut him down. Allen, a receiver at the top of your screen. And here's Aller looking for that first down. He may be short. Michigan says he's short. And he is. I think that was number seven, Makari Page, and that's what tripped him up and allowed the rest of the defense to arrive. And you can see that ball never gets to the 35, and Michigan will force a punt. Penn State sending it away. Jake Thaw, the deep man. He'll get a shot inside his own 20. Steps up, crosses the 20 up to the 21. First down and 10 of the 22. McCarthy rolling out of the pocket on the move, delivers a dive. To Cornelius Johnson. Cornelius Johnson. McCarthy starts six of seven, 60 yards with a long of 19. First down and 10. Here's Corum as he tries to get through the hole, picks up a couple. Let's go downstairs to JT. Corum bounces it outside, turns the corner. Blake Corum down the sideline. Blake the great out of bounds. Big explosive play for the Wolverines. And they bounce. 44 yards. Khalil Mullings checks in now. Former linebacker converted to running back. 
Brown. They also have Edwards in the game. So this is two backs in the game. You've got Mullings in the backfield and Edwards and McCarthy needs a timeout. 741 to play in the second quarter. Michigan up seven to three. Threatening again. Honor US Vets and visit honor.usvets.org slash Fox Forward to donate and learn how you can help end veteran homelessness. And Donovan Edwards running over the right side and he is taken down. Nicely done by Curtis Jacobs. McCarthy, quick strike underneath, not then doing. As Loveland makes the catch, but Kevin Winston right there for the tackle, no game. Play clock winding down. And they won't get it off in time. Timeout Wolverines. Will Manny Diaz dial up some pressure here? They hand it off. Donovan Edwards. Here's the Don. Down the sideline. Touchdown Wolverines. 22 yards. And Michigan right down the field again. And what are they doing? They're getting back to their roots, running the football. That's what Penn State is having a trouble with right now. James Turner in for the extra point, and it's good. But Michigan felt like they could return to their roots, in particular their roots from last year that was 418 yards against this defense, and try to run right at that speed. That's what you got to do. It's an old coaching practice. You got speed, run right at it, and they've done it today against Penn State. Five rushes, 43 yards today. Here's Katron Allen. Allen with a nice cut. Katron Allen down at the 40-yard line. Kenneth Grant had to track him down from behind, but it's a gain of 34. Allen cuts it back with some room. So spin forward. Johnson in motion, lines up in the backfield. Allen again, and this time a short game. As he crosses the line of scrimmage, Colston brings him down. Here's Allen with the handoff, and Allen is ambushed in the backfield. This time, Michigan gets in there quickly as Rayshon Benny makes the stop. Now, Rayshon Benny does a great job. Watch him just cross the face of the center. Now he's in the backfield. And he tackles Allen for a loss, and it looks like this offense will stay on the field here. Aller trying to draw the Wolverines offside. And Penn State will call a timeout. Yeah, and this, this crowd not happy with this offense and that play selection there. So on fourth down, Aller and the offense for Penn State going for it. They need six yards. At the 37. Here's Aller to throw it. With time. Delivers. And caught for first down. Caden Saunders with the catch. A gain of 14. They're going to go fast here. Beautiful throw there from Drew Aller. First down of the 24. Aller to Singleton. Chops his feet. Looking for space. Not a lot. But his second effort, Patron Allen. Short gain for Penn State. Allen looking, pulls it down, wants to run. Allen still on the move and finally tripped up from behind by Mason Graham. 17 of 20 on fourth downs this year. And another timeout called by James Franklin and the Nittany Lions. We need to capitalize. Fourth down and one. Allen, they pitch. He's looking to throw it to Aller. He's got it. First down, Penn State. As Aller goes down to the 10. On fourth and one, they pick up for the hard way. Their entire season is on the line today. They've already lost to Ohio State. If they want to get to where they need to go, they've got to win this game. And down 14-3, it's time to go ahead there and empty the kitchen sink. First down and 10 of the Michigan 11. Here's Aller. Quarterback run with space. Aller! Touchdown! Penn State! Drew Aller! 
using his legs. An 11 yard score. And that makes it a 14 to 9 game. Absolutely love the play call from Mike Yersich. And they will go for two here. James Franklin trying to make this a three point game. Watch Cephas, top of your screen. He's great on catching that fade route. Kent State transfer. Goes in motion. Play fake. Aller looking in the end zone and complete. Keandre Lambert Smith, the target. And the Nittany Lions come up empty. <laughs> Everything. He's not a receiver either, but he, we saw him catch a That's pass right. for a first That's right. down, right? Any means necessary. Like I said, for Penn State, you've got to view this as a last chance in this season. Ball fair caught at the goal the line. Starting to get going here in the last couple of series. First down to the 25 yard line. And they'll go with Corum straight ahead. He'll gain four. Ellie's with the tackle. Clock keeps running at 18 and counting. And that could take us to the end of the first half. Yeah, unless James Franklin decides to stop this for some reason, I think Michigan is going to be fine taking a 14 9 lead in at half. But what a series from that Penn State offense answering the bell when they needed it most. Down 14 3. James Franklin, a couple of fourth down conversions. Right back in this ball game. This Michigan team and this Penn State team, Gus, each of these teams, dominant third quarter team. Something's got to give here in this quarter. First down and 10 of the 25 for Nittany Lions. And here's Singleton. Nick Singleton will gain five yards. Page with the tackle. He'll give it to him again. This time he's met at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Allen looking. Steps up in the pocket, wants to run it and has another first down. Drew Allen not afraid to tuck it and run. He'll gain eight. Allen pump fake. Allen steps up. Fires out wide. Singleton. Breaks a tackle and finally goes down. Nick Singleton with a six yard gain. On second and four. Singleton straight ahead. And Singleton tackled from behind by Josiah Stewart, the Coastal Carolina transfer. Gain of two. Aller, quarterback run again. And once he lost it, picked up by Michigan. The Wolverines first force the first turnover of the game. Makari Page grabs it. And the Cardi boys will have an opportunity to take a picture on the Michigan sideline. Watch number 26 as he comes across with this right arm and as he's yanking on the ball trying to get Aller to the ground. Now whenever Michigan forces a turnover, whoever recovers the turnover gets a chance to take a picture with some fancy French glasses, folks. They're called Cardi A's. So I know they're fancy. You know how I know? How do you know that, sir? You wear them. Ah! <laughs> I am from Detroit. <laughs> That's right. First down and 10 at the 49. And here's Blake Corum. Running over the right side. Blake we pick up Corum a couple. Abdul Corum. Carter. Khalil Mullings in it running back. Second and eight at the 47. And they'll give it. No, it's McCarthy running the ball. And J.J. McCarthy picks up six. Third down and two at the 41. Corum looking for the first down, and he has it. Corum again following his blocks, tackled from behind. And that's a short gain of about two Ellies with the tackle for Penn State. We'll see what they do here on second down. Second and eight. At the Penn State 36. Again, it's Corum. And again, Corum with space and Blake Corum. Corum going carry. down short of the line to game. Kobe King with the tackle for the Nittany Lions. Corum looking for the first. Corum second effort. I don't know if he got it. Dominic DeLuca. Denies it. 
And that brings up fourth down. Yeah, that opposite official was all over it. Dom DeLuco, this was a tremendous tackle. Watch DeLuca right here. He comes in, squeezes down, takes on a block, and then it's just a wrestling match with Corum, and he's able to win and produce a fourth down opportunity for his defense. Corum, the single setback. Loveland in motion, play fake, McCarthy looking, McCarthy keeps it, cuts, picks up the first down and more. J.J. McCarthy down at the 20, a fourth and one, he'll get nine. First down and 10 of the 20, eighth play of the drive. Edwards this time, and Edwards spinning, not a lot of room. Michigan on this drive, all runs. Here's McCarthy with a C. McCarthy cuts it inside and picks up a first down. He goes down hard, but he gains nine. He's here at Michigan do a great job, but watch as he's going against Johnny Dixon. Dixon tries to get off of that block, and that is a hold that doesn't get called at the end of that run. The pistol back. They give it to him, and he's gobbled up and goes down. Dennis Sutton again. Corum. And a two yard gain. Third down goal of the 10. Edwards gets outside and goes out of bounds at the five yard line. May have gotten inside the five. Brings on James Turner. In to attempt a 22 yarder. And it's good. Jesse Minner will talk about this, the defensive coordinator for Michigan here as they kick it off. This is this is the moment defensively that they feel like, Gus, if they can get a three and out after a long drive like that, the 12 straight runs, kind of that boa constrictor starts to squeeze. First down and 10 at the 25. Here's a handoff to Allen and Katron Allen. Running it straight ahead. Quentin Johnson with the tackle. Let's check in with Jenny. Aller, 4 of 8, 37 yards for Penn State. Here's a handoff. And Derek Moore with the tackle on Katron Allen. Two yard game. Play clock at two. They get it away. Aller sprints out of the pocket, throws on the move, has his man, and a first down. That's Tyler Ward, his nickname, Psycho, from the 38. Play fake, sideline throw, incomplete. Lambert Smith, that ball thrown behind him. Will Johnson in coverage for Michigan. Johnson in motion. Low snap handled, they find Johnson out wide across the line of scrimmage, not a lot. Theo Johnson, who was from Windsor, Canada, which is right across the water from the Detroit River. Drew Allen looking. Sideline throw caught. Lambert Smith not enough for the first down. They got a timeout. Here's they Allen. They were confused. Timeout Penn State. Big play here coming up. Yeah, they're going to punt it away. This is the correct call from James Franklin. He went for it with seven minutes left to go in a similar situation and place in the field against Ohio State. That did not turn out well for them that day, and this is the proper decision right here. And this ball will be down inside the Michigan five at the two and a half. Terrific job by Riley Thompson. A 51-yard punt. First down at the three-yard line for Michigan. Blake Corm lines up in the end zone. And they'll run it straight ahead. Create a little bit of space. Two-yard gain. And that should take us to the end of the third quarter. And second down and eight at the five. Roman Wilson, their number one receiver. We haven't mentioned his name at all today. Corum and Corum met by King at the line of scrimmage. He'll lead forward and gain a couple. Last two long third downs. Michigan has been just fine running it, but they are running out of play clock here. And they snap it. And let's 
see, did they get the timeout? Yes, they did. Timeout, Michigan. McCarthy hands it off. Edwards slashing, and Edwards will not pick up the first down. He's about a yard short. Kobe King denied him. And now Michigan will punt. He's got a chance to get the ball around the exact same spot, but trade a fourth down for a first down. Tommy Doman will punt it away, and the dangerous Daquan Hardy back deep. He'd love to get a shot at this one. And he fields it, runs into one of his teammates, tries to get outside, turns a corner, nice return, gets inside Michigan territory, but there is a flag. During the return holding, return team number four, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, first down. Uh, here's, the, here's the hold. Right there, you see just a little bit of a jersey. I don't know. That, that seems like a lot of tripping going on. Colasar was trying to get there, the defensive player. That looks like Malik Mega. Aller to the sideline and incomplete. Mikey Samer still defensively, but there is a flag. Offside. Defense number 32. Five yard penalty. Jalen Harrell, the outside linebacker, stand-up edge player. Aller hands it off to Singleton. He'll cut it back inside. Chris Jenkins with the stop. Short game. Singleton pitches it back. Aller throws to the sideline and just gets it out of bounds. He better be careful here because I don't I don't know if they're going to give him credit for Dante Cephas being in the area. He wasn't out of the pocket. They're going to discuss this right now for a potential intentional grounding and the flag is going to come out. He's definitely in the pocket. That had to go towards a wide receiver and I don't think it did. Intentional grounding. Offense number 15 in the pocket through the ball into area without an eligible receiver. Lost it down at the spot of the foul. Third down. And that is a massive penalty because of that loss of down. It backs them way up now. So here, let's watch this for two reasons. One, he's inside of the pocket. He drops straight back after this little flea flicker. So as he goes straight back, this ball's got to be near a wide receiver. Cephas was way inside the numbers. He throws that four or five yards out of bounds, and Jalen Harrell loving the pressure he can produce on the quarterback. Here's Aller backing up. Aller lobs it down the sideline, incomplete. Lambert Smith, the intended receiver. Jake Thaw, the deep man for Michigan. End over end kick by Thompson. Thaw from the 30, makes a first man miss and goes down at the 31. McCarthy hands it off, and it's Corum who dances forward and picks up a yard and a half, maybe two. Coram. And Coram will tumble forward. He'll get close to that first down marker. Tackled by Jalen Reed, gains seven on second and eight. And what Manny Diaz is going to face is just an extended run-oriented drive where Michigan can stay on the field and eat up clock here in the fourth quarter. 19 straight runs for Michigan. Looking for the first down, and they have it. First and 10 at the 42. Donovan Edwards in now. Play fake. McCarthy sets up, lets it go. Incomplete. And a flag on the play. A.J. Barner, the intended receiver, covered by Kalen King. Pass interference. Defense, number four. Well, here's King in coverage, and as Barner tries to get back to the ball, he's just blocked from trying to make a play on that. At the 43. Oh, a lot of confusion right there. Ball start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. It was not a timeout what we have been told. And here's J.J. McCarthy, and 
and he's chopped down by guess who Adiza Isaac a loss of two Dennis Sutton denied Dennis Sutton 33 he's had a heck of a game and Adisa Isaac has also had a heck of a game if they just try to drop back and pass this pass rush is going to disrupt them second down and 17 here's McCarthy gets outside McCarthy turns it up and finally taken down by Kobe King J.J. McCarthy gains eight he gets up limping yeah he's he was a little gimpy there as you can see, his ankle just got turned a little bit as he went down to the ground. Watch Donovan Edwards in the backfield. He's a great receiver. And they give it to him. Bottled up and goes out for a loss again. Adisa Isaac. His Penn State defense is excellent. Several times now on third and long, trying to avoid that pass rush, which was so dominant early in the game. Tommy Doman will punt it away from his own 43. Daquan Hardy is the deep man for Penn State. No pressure, end over in high kick. And it's fair caught at the 12. Aller with the handoff to Allen. Not a lot. You're getting down to this point in the game where you, you've got to have, like, for a baseball analogy, an out pitch. Second and nine at the 13. Aller, under pressure, delivers, sideline, and incomplete for young Drew Aller, 19 years old. He'll throw it. Aller over the middle. Ball caught. Cephas, and Cephas won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. But there is a flag on the play. It's thrown right on the snap by the linesman near side. Illegal formation. Offense more than five in the backfield. The penalties decline. Brings up fourth down. I tell you what, that that is it's a good stop for Michigan, obviously, but what a disappointing drive for Penn State. Riley Thompson punting from his own goal line. Thaw, the deep man. Backpedals, has it at the 30, circles, and goes down at the 31. Corum, nothing. Kobe King again. And this defense task with getting out here and stopping the Michigan offense that has been very potent over the last few weeks. This defense has been really good so far today. Blake clock at six. Second and ten. And J.J. McCarthy calls timeout. McCarthy gives it to Carl, follows his block. Cuts it inside, weaving his way and Blake Corum, 25 straight runs by Michigan. Corum, 20 carries, 93 yards. Take that, 21 carries now, 101 yards rushing. Third and two. Corum, and he is stuffed. Abdul Carter. No game. Tommy Doman drives this football. Hardy. Comes up, fields it at the 21. It goes out of bounds around the 26-yard line, a 40-yard punt, and a five-yard return. Allen hands it off. Singleton. Colson with the tackle. As Singleton gets a four-yard gain up to the 30. Clock keeps running. For Michigan, these safeties, all you got to be thinking is do not get beat deep. Aller, he's got a great arm. Aller lobs it up and incomplete. Theo Johnson covered by two Michigan defenders. That makes it third down and six. Here comes Aller looking over the middle and incomplete. Caden Saunders, the target, that ball thrown behind him again. He's got the spot on the field. They get the route. This has got to be completed. 
Drew Aller has to put this ball out in front of his wide receiver. He doesn't step into it, doesn't throw it with much pace, and they will be on the field for fourth down right here. Fourth down at six. Penn State throwing caution to the win. Empty backfield for Aller. With the way their defense is playing, I still think they, they should punt this right now. They're putting the game basically on this play right here. Here's Aller. Michigan brings pressure. Aller over the middle. Incomplete. And the Nittany Lions turn it over on downs. And these fans are not happy. Michigan takes over first and 10 at the 30. Corum with a hole down the sideline. Can he get there? Blake the Great. Touchdown, Wolverine. 30 yards. They said Michigan hadn't played anybody. Penn State would be their first major challenge. Not only would it be their first major challenge, but they went into this game without their head coach, who's at the hotel right now. Chop Robinson, number 44. He's got to have this gap, but he jumps outside of his gap, and he leaves a seam in the defense. And with 4.15 to go in the fourth quarter, Wolverines take a 24-9 lead. 49 career rushing touchdowns, second all time at the University of Michigan. And he does it on a day in which their coach was suspended while he was on a plane coming to the game. There is still some time, but they've got to go really quick and they got to get down the field in a hurry. Borum with 131 yards rushing. Aller over the middle. And intercepted. Quinton Johnson. Where are the shades for Quentin Johnson? There they are, the Cardi boys with their second turnover of the game. Pressure on Aller in the pocket. Looks like his hand gets hit while he's trying to throw it. Colson tries to get there, and that ball, I don't know. I don't know. I know they're celebrating that interception right now. Jesse Minter has been outstanding in his two After years. After review, the receiver trapped the ball on the ground before possessing it. Therefore, it's an incomplete pass. They'll bring up second down. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Defense number 23 removing his helmet. That's number 23's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul. A second result in game disqualification. So they'll move the ball up the field. And Quentin Johnson has got to take him off. Use the players and lean into what their strengths are. They haven't done that today. First down and 10 at the 40. Here's the run. Allen. So you're thinking about, you know, 2 215 for midfield. Allen again. And you would think with 340 to go that they would let the ball fly a little bit more. I mean, you. you Last one that he threw almost got picked off. Second down and four. Play fake. Aller to the sideline. That one thrown high. Cephas with the catch. And Cephas dragged down by Will Johnson. And he will gain 11. First down, Penn State. If they can maintain these two timeouts, then 2.30, two, two minutes and 30 seconds left. That would be a great mark to try to get this ball in the end zone. Play fake. Aller over the middle. Incomplete. Aller. Looking, goes through his progressions. Bouncing out of the pocket, flags thrown. Aller decides to run it, and goes out of bounds. Looks like he has the first down, but let's see. You know, that flag was, was thrown right in the direction of Olu Fashionu, number 74, the left tackle. Personal foul, illegal hand for the face. Defense number 99. Back to this one should go automatic, first down. Well, couldn't have been more wrong there. So you're watching Cam Good, number 99, right here. There it is. Yeah, absolutely. That right hand is way up into the face. I was looking at Fashion News 74 as Aller left the pocket. But Cam Good, that right hand, it goes way up into the face. That's J.B. Nelson, the guard, who's had a pretty good game up there up front. Can Aller and the offense pay it off? And a false start against the Nittany Lions. False start. Offense number 74, five-yard penalty, first down. 
How do you get into the end zone and not have to use an onside kick to try to get the ball back? First down to 15. Allen in the pocket under pressure. Decides to run it and goes out of bounds inside the 10. Cam Good defensively for the Wolverines. From the eight, Aller looking, Aller dancing, Aller buys time, end zone incomplete. Lambert Smith, the receiver at the back of the end zone, couldn't put it on him. Aller over the middle, caught, touchdown, Theo Johnson. And Penn State is still in this game. This is really the, this is really the game here. If oh, don't get it. Look at this formation, Joe. What's this? They got swinging gate all the way out left. All the receivers down here to the right. Here's Aller. Sprints to his right. Looking. In the end zone. Incomplete. Nittany Lions denied a two-point conversion again. Will Johnson breaks it up. And the score, 24 to 15 with a minute and 59 to go. There's the onside kick and fielded by the Wolverines, Mikey Sandra still. The analytics crowd don't have to live with the issue of a failed conversion. On first down, Blake Corum. Be careful saying stuff about those analytics guys. They'll chop you up. Sharon Moore and these players and, and the rest of the coaching staff did an outstanding job today of blocking all of that out. The noise, as J.J. McCarthy calls it. I believe they ran the ball three times in that second half and ended up winning the game. Here's the run for Corm and a first down, and that may do it. Go ahead and tell us that that was the reason we were good. J.J. giving everybody the crown up front. Those guys earned it today. I'll tell you, that was hard sledding, 231 rush yards. What really surprised me, Joel, was Sharon Moore takes over as the head coach. He's the offensive coordinator. He's the offensive line coach. And instead of allowing his ego to take over and throwing the ball, he decided to play some smash mouth, old school, Bo Schimbeckler, running the ball football. You know what he did? He put the game in the hands of the players he knows best, the ones that he sits in that meeting room with. Tell you what, Michigan, they close out the game with 30 straight runs. And Sharon Moore gets a huge win as the acting head coach for the Michigan Wolverines. The big one, 24 to 15. Michigan improves to 10-0. They'll take on Maryland next week in Maryland.